What's good creators? Welcome back to Monzo Media. Now if you notice my setup is quite a bit different. You could see more of the background and that's because I'm using the Canon M50 in 4K with the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Now why I'm doing this is because I wanted to show you some examples of what we just talked about in the previous video on the limitations of 4K with the M50. Throughout the video you may see the camera lose focus every now and then and I'm going to go through a few examples to show you what I meant when I said that the 4K was a little unreliable. As I mentioned in the previous video though in 4K there is a 2.56 crop factor but what happens in 4K is that this section becomes even more cropped so what that means is the kit lens at 15 millimeter is going to actually be closer to 38 millimeter in focal length so it's not terrible this focal length it's definitely workable and of course you can make adjustments to you know your particular environment in terms of my setup uh, the camera is about an arm's length away like I'd say an arm's length and a quarter I can almost touch it if I lean forward I also have my key light here and a fill light and all the available light in my background lights on as well in terms of the camera settings in 4k on the m50 you're limited to 4k at 24 frames per second so I will set my shutter speed to 1 50th of a second because remember to get your shutter speed you got to double your frames per second my aperture is at 3.5 and this is the most I can get from the kit lens at 15 millimeter and currently the ISO is at 500 which is not bad you still get a really good image quality. Now as I talk I don't know if the camera has been going in and out of focus I'm looking at the camera but if you see that that's kind of what I talked about in the video. But I'm going to show you some more examples to kind of exaggerate what I'm talking about. So one of the reasons why I have all these lights on is the main issue with the autofocus is that number one Canon's great dual pixel autofocus that you know is very sticky and it's very accurate. Yeah it's not available in 4k what happens is the camera reverts to a contrast based focus system and this is old technology and really what that is the camera needs contrast it needs a lot of light and it needs you know things like saturation and color and separation from the foreground and background so in this example in a talking head video situation where you have a controlled environment the 4k on the m50 is workable you know you could really get some quality video in this situation if you have ample lighting and again color helps a lot saturated colors from foreground and background that really helps to not really to prevent the camera from going out of focus you know call it focus breathing uh, hunting call it what you will it really will help limit that issue so what the issue is with contrast based focusing is that it will have trouble locking focus especially to moving subjects if I move my head around see how it lost focus and it's gonna take a second or two for me to you know get back in focus don't mind me looking I'm monitoring this on my screen but you see you know for a split second that it would lose me but again because I have you know all this lighting it's not terrible Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually is uh, turn off my key light and don't mind the graininess and the white balance and all that stuff. This is just for demonstration purposes. What I'm gonna do is set the ISO to auto and just let the camera figure out the ISO on its own. And you're gonna see as I talk here that it's gonna struggle. It's gonna go in and out of focus, especially if I move around and especially pay attention to the background and see how it's in focus and then now it's going to focus on my face that's pretty much the main issue we're dealing with here and even more so if i were to turn off the fill light uh, which i will do right now now you see just with available light how much the camera is struggling 
to lock the focus. Now, in all fairness, a lot of cameras in this price range are going to struggle in low light situations. The M50 is not the greatest for low light situations, and I'm using the kit lens. With that being said, if I were just in regular full HD at 1080p, even in this lighting situation, the M50 would still be able to lock focus on my face. See, right now, as I look at the screen, the background is more in focus than my face. You see it go back and forth. That's that's not good. <laughs> you know what I mean? As much as possible, try to have as much lighting as possible. So I'm going to put my lights back on here. There we go. As you notice, even if I move around, it's not terrible. It may lose me. There you go, it lost me. But then it takes a second and it's locked back in focus. It's not unusable by any means. Where I can see this be a problem, a lot of the videos that I do are talents, uh, models or whatever, and they're moving around. That's where it will be unreliable because if they're moving quickly and the camera can't lock its focus, then I'm going to be in big trouble if I don't get those shots that I need. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is show you another example of me kind of just walking back and forth in my room here, and you're going to see that even more. how I feel like right now. Now another thing you can do to alleviate the focus issues is focus manually. Now I'm not going to go over it in this video but I'll leave a link in the description below and put it in the end card on a video I did about using manual lenses. There I talk about focus peaking and what focus peaking is it's basically a outline that can be red, blue, or yellow that you know when you manually focus on the subject you're going to see a red outline on the subject and when you see that that's when you know that the subjects in focus and it's fairly easy to do so again if you're doing a talking head situation I can manually focus this lens set it since I'm not moving too much you're pretty much fine once again make sure to check out this video to enable focus peaking on your m50 and as always if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and hey while you're at it give me a thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button. I don't ask a lot, but I do appreciate it when you guys do comment, like, and subscribe because man, I love you. I just love you. With that being said, get out there, hit record, create, and I'll see you when I see you.